Today I would like to give you a short introduction on how to use the ADL in-flight weather system. So as you might know, the ADL in-flight weather system uses the Iridium satellite network to download weather information into your aircraft in flight. This solution does work worldwide, but it's especially designed for the European, Brazilian and Australian market where no XM and ADSB weather are available. Usually Usually you have a box uh, like this one, this is the ADA-150 installed in your aircraft or as a portable device and it's connected to an Iridium antenna either on the glare sheet in the cockpit or uh, an outside installation outside your aircraft. Today I would like to introduce the ADA Connect app which is used to control and visualize the in-flight weather. So first step is to make sure your Wi-Fi connection is set up properly. So go into the settings of your app and then go to Wi-Fi and you will see that you are properly connected to the ADI Connect Wi-Fi. That's a very important step. Without it, it's not going to work. Then you can switch over to the ADI Connect app. This app is used to, yeah, to control all the weather downloads and uh, visualize the data. Instantly, you notice the um, ADL device communicating with the app. And very important, you see the Iridium GPS and 4G signal strength. So this video is shot in the aircraft, but it's standing on the apron. Um, and uh, I'm using an ADL 200 device, which has got all the features, while some of the ADL devices, like 150, have limited features, but they all download weather in flight. So this one also has got a 4G connection, which can be used as hybrid mode. Uh, to save some money on satellite transmissions. So as long as you see this uh, Iridium GPS uh, indication, it means that the ADA Connect app is successfully communicating with the device. That's very important, because only if they are talking all the time with each other, it's going to work. The next thing you are going to see is uh, you see the aircraft position. So currently we are based at Echo Delta Alpha Zulu on the apron, so that works. And we have the GPS position. Um, that GPS position comes from the ADL device. So it's not um, your iPad GPS which is used, but the GPS from the ADL device. Next thing you notice, you notice some other aircraft. This is because the ADL 200 I'm using and the ADL 190 we have an offer have an ADSB receiver. So you see all the ADSB traffic uh, around us which is received. So as you can see on this installation we have approximately a, a 40 nautical miles range on the maximum signals we receive. If we zoom out, we just see the altitude difference and if we zoom in we get more details on the aircraft. So this is um, the information is received all the time. It's obviously subscription free because it's ADSB. But as you know, um, ADSB weather is not available um, outside the US. So this is only ADSB traffic, and the weather is through the Iridium satellite network. And I'm going to show you now how to do the download of um, Iridium satellite data. So first step is to show the flight plan. And now we have to enter a flight plan. This is very important because uh, the ADL system will not download all the weather, but it will download the weather along a predefined route. So the device must know at least where you're going. Intermediate waypoints are not so important, but the destination is very important. Therefore, we enter a destination, and let's say, for example, today we are going to fly to Munich, Delta Delta Mike, enter this waypoint and the direct to. And then we get a magenta line to Munich. Just for demonstration purposes, we can also insert some more waypoints. Marem waypoint, which is an IFR waypoint. We have a little variation. OK, so you know to see the flight plan, and the first leg is activated. The next step is to go over to the config menu. This is especially important as we are using an ADL 200. It's um, capable of downloading the weather by 4G when in low flight or on the ground to save money, but it's also capable of downloading the weather via the Iridium network. Here you can select if the system should 
should use both hybrids and it tries the 4G first and if that does not work out it tries the Iridium or if it should uh, use cellular or Iridium only. And for this demonstration I'm going to put it on Iridium only then you will see a real satellite download. The next step is to switch over to the download page and there you have to configure your download because you are downloading the weather data on request you can specify what data to request. Obviously we want the radar infrared strikes and minima this is basically the en route data then we can download the winds and temperatures and we can specify an altitude band for which we would like to download this information so you can adapt this to the performance of your aircraft. Then you can specify um, the ICAO codes uh, for airports where we, you would like to download the textual meter and TUF reports. I'm going to echo, enter Echo Delta Delta Mike and we request the meter and TUF for this one and uh, let's say our alternate is Salzburg, Lima Oscar Whiskey Sierra and we just request the meter for this one. Okay, so now I'm going to start a single Iridium download and we are going to see Now the ADL device is first uploading the request to the satellite. You see Iridium request sending, so that sends out your request with all your requested meta and root weather and so on to, to our server over the Iridium satellite network. As you see, it was re request uploaded, that was completed, and that's already receiving the weather data now. This data is split up in packages and so for this download for example it was split in two packages which were received one after the other. So now all the data is already received and it's currently about to be processed. So now we can switch over to the moving map and have a look at the at the data. So very important is here on the top you can select which weather information is displayed. So currently we are not showing any weather, and now we are going to add the different weather products one by one. So we switched on the radar, and we see that the system downloaded a radar corridor along our planned route. So the weather is rather good, and we just have some radar echoes here. The dark area is the area for which weather information was downloaded. Outside of the dark area, we don't know. This is too far away from our corridor, so to minimize data usage, the system did not download um, the information in this area. If you would like to download more information, then you have to modify your flight plan and add other waypoints, and then the corridor on the next download will be adapted. So the next weather product we are going to add is a strike product. Probably no strikes today but you will see little magenta crosses if you have um, strikes in the area. Very important as always when looking at the weather to notice the timestamps which are displayed there. So currently our radar image and the strike image, they are 11 minutes old. And this is very important. New data is published every 15 minutes and there's a five, four minutes processing delay. So basically when the data gets 19 minutes old, you can start a new download and get updated with the information. Or you can select the automatic mode and that will do it for you. Next weather product we are going to add is the infrared. And you see we have uh, quite some high clouds on this route, but no convective activity. And then we can add the wind information. We go up to flight level 200 and we see we would have quite a lot of uh, 30 knot headwind approximately on this route. Now I'm going to hide some information. Very important is to, to from time to time to hide something because else you are no longer going to see anything if you activate all the data at once. You can activate the temperatures and so this is the predicted temperature at flight level 200. Here on the bottom for the wind and temperature you can select the different levels and you see it's warmer when you get down and cooler when you get up. Quite a cool day at flight level 260 today. And then the last weather product, um, you can add the minima. And those are color-coded um, meta. So basically the system takes a meta and it puts it uh, in a, in a color-coding scheme to make it easier for you to view airports which are difficult, difficult weather conditions. But blue is the best color, so currently Everything is quite, only Carlo Vivari is not that perfect, but still 
good weather conditions. And here you can see there's one airport, it's Memmingen, and they have a windsock, so they have more than 20 knots of wind. So those are the weather products on the map. Then we can switch over to Meta TAF, and there you're going to see the texture meters and TAFs you requested earlier on the download page. So we see we have the Meta for Munich, and we have the Meta for Salzburg, and we have the TAF for Munich, which we requested. And the system will add some color coding um, to make it easier for you to spot good or bad features in the Meta. Yes, and so those are the the main weather features of the ADL system. One uh, special feature of the ADL 200 and the ADL 190 is an AHAS integrated, which is sensing the orientation of the box and allows to have a non-certified um, artificial horizon. But please don't fly an IMC according to this. So this is for reference and entertainment purposes only, but it's an ad additional tool um, in the ADL system. Then as an additional as an additional feature, you can also send and receive um, messages. So you can uh, write short emails and uh, SMS text messages the system, and also you can uh, receive answers to those. So we can send an SMS message. Always add the international die code. test and send it out. Now you can follow the progress of this um, sending action on the bottom of the download page where you get all the status messages from the ADL system. Now the message is sent up to the satellite and then forwarded to the mobile phone provider. Now the message got out over the satellite and in a few moments it should arrive on my phone. There it is here and can send an answer. Now that one gets transmitted in the inverse order, so it gets to our server and then is transmitted over the Iridium satellite network to your device in flight. There comes up the answer which we just typed in on the phone. This was a short introduction to the ADL in-flight weather system. Thanks a lot for watching and fly safe.